In this video, I'm revealing the best strategy that you can use with the Heiken Ashi indicator. So I'm not going to waste your time explaining the unimportant stuff like the founder or the formulas of the indicator, because that's not going to make you money. Instead, we are going straight to the point and the strategies. So first of all, let me clear things up for the beginners out there that is still new to this indicator. The Heiken Ashi candles does not show the real price, like you see in this example. Here, I'm using the Heiken Ashi candle, and it displayed a wide green candle. But if you look at the actual candlestick, it just displays a small candle. So when you're backtesting the Heiken Ashi strategy, you cannot set your candles to Heiken Ashi because it's not the real price. Instead, you would want to use an indicator called Heiken Ashi which is going to show you the original price and the Heiken Ashi candles. Now that's out of the way, let's continue with the strategy. So, when trading, finding a trend isn't as simple as you think. A trend doesn't normally look like this, where the candles are all the same color. Most trends actually look like this. Well, in hindsight, this may look easy, but if you're trading real time, these different colored candles will confuse you and might give you false signals. So instead of looking at these annoying candles that might display false signals using the Heiken Ashi, you would instead see all the candles with the same color. So it's easier to identify the trend real time. That's what the Heiken Ashi is for. It can help eliminate noises and shows a more clear view of the market's direction. So here's a quick way on how to identify the current trend using the Heiken Ashi chart. You can identify a strong bullish trend if the candle is colored green, it has a large body, and it has no lower shadows. And you can identify a strong bearish trend if the candle is colored red, it has a large body, and it has no upper shadows. So, we all know that a trend will not last forever. Eventually, it'll start to weaken and reverse. Luckily, the Heiken Ashi is also designed to detect price reversals. So, in a Heiken Ashi chart, you will also encounter doji candles like this. So a doji candle is when a candle has a very small body and two shadows. Here's how you find reversals using the doji candle in the Heiken Ashi chart. The first step is to find an existing trend. The next step is to find a doji candle within that trend. The doji can be in any color as long as it's a doji. The next step is to wait for two huge candles that is in the opposite color of the trend to appear. Like in this example. In this chart, we have an existing uptrend and a doji candle. So what we want to do is wait for a candle with the opposite color of the trend in this case, a red candle to appear two times, and both of the candles need to have only one shadow. So this will be our entry signal. In this case, we take a sell position. So let's look at another example. Here, you can see the price is on a clear downtrend and a doji candle appears. Next. You can see two huge candles with one shadow that is in the opposite color of the trend. In this case, green candles. So this will be our entry signal to take a buy position. So that's how you use the Heiken Ashi candles to detect reversals. The next strategy that I like to utilize when trading the Heiken Ashi is by combining it with the stochastics indicator. So I'm not going to go in depth with the stochastics indicator because it's very simple and I don't want this video to be too long. So basically, it's exactly like the RSI. If the lines crosses below the lower bands, meaning the market is oversold and more likely to reverse upwards. And if it crosses above the upper bands, meaning the market is considered overbought and is more likely to reverse downwards. But when trading the stochastics indicator, you cannot take positions solely based on if the price is overbought and oversold alone. Because if you're using the strategy this way, it can lead to many false signals. Like in this example, 
If you follow every signal that the stochastics display, you will face unnecessary losses. Instead, we need to add a second confirmation indicator like the Heiken Ashi to further confirm our analysis. So here's how you trade the Heiken Ashi plus stochastics indicator combination. So you want to find overbought and oversold points where the Heiken Ashi hasn't yet displayed a strong momentum. Let me give you an example. Here you can see the stochastics went to oversold levels, but the price has already dropped significantly. So we do not want these types of entries because the price has already established a strong downwards momentum. Instead, we want something like this, where the stochastics went to oversold levels, but the price hasn't yet established a strong downwards movement. Therefore, it is more likely to reverse to the upside. So let's look at another example. Here, we can see that the stochastics went from overbought to oversold levels. But in the process, the price hasn't yet moved significantly downwards meaning that there's a weak volume to the downside. So this is also a good opportunity to take a buy position. So let's look at another example. Here, you can see the stochastics is at the oversold levels, yet the price hasn't yet established a strong downwards momentum. So the volume to the downside is very little. Therefore, this will be a good buying opportunity. So I just revealed to you the best strategies that you can use with the Heiken Ashi indicator. And all I ask for in return is a very small favor of liking the video and subscribe to the channel. It literally takes only two clicks and it means a lot to me. And in return, you'll get notified when I post more high quality trading videos like this one. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.